Well, just when you thought 2020 couldn't get any more bizarre, the mainstream media have come out and labelled me a racist and a neo-Nazi. The fact that I had to actually Google what neo-Nazi meant is pretty telling. For years, Pete Evans was one of Australia's most popular foodies, becoming a fixture on our TV screens as a judge on the insanely popular My Kitchen Rules. Honestly, I think it's the best piece of meat I've had in this competition. It was bloody delicious. But in recent times, he started raising eyebrows by sharing controversial views on everything from diet to sunscreen. And by 2020, he had emerged as a coronavirus conspiracy theorist. Is that what we've come here to do? Is that is do we have the belief in ourselves that we are contagious, that we are spreaders of something? You know, I, I choose not to believe in that narrative because it doesn't make any sense to me. However, the final straw came in November when Evan shared a cartoon on social media which featured the Black Sun, a neo-Nazi symbol. Evans later deleted the image and apologised as the backlash grew, claiming he didn't know about the image's significance. But many are convinced he's simply gone too far this time and that his career is now all but over. Right now is the time that we need to be educating ourselves, empowering ourselves and sharing this information far and wide. And yes, make Australia, make America, great again. He was dumped from an upcoming season of Channel 10's I'm a Celebrity, with his longtime publisher also cutting ties and a string of supermarkets and retailers pulling his products from shelves. It's pretty clear that the scandal has shattered Evan's reputation, but just how much does he stand to lose? Well, one marketing agency boss told news.com.au that Aussie celebs generally could rake in anywhere between eighty dollars to $250,000 for single TV appearances. Book deals could earn anywhere from sixty dollars to $150,000, depending on the individual in question, while advertising campaigns could be worth $250,000 to $400,000 plus, depending on the brand and the value the celebrity will offer to their clientele. But the real moneymaker is brand endorsements, which could represent $100,000 to $1 million payday. Basically, we're talking about a whole lot of cold, hard cash that's likely no longer on the table for Evans. You have lost the plot, mate. Such a shame. I was following Pete Evans for a while. He was a, somebody said that to me the other day. Along the lines of this, how can somebody take you seriously because you're growing a beard and you're meant to be clean cut? <laughs> So can he make a comeback? According to a string of media analysts and industry experts, the answer is a resounding no, with Pam and media director Steve Allen telling news.com.au that not only had the debacle cost Evans millions, there was also now no way back for the former star. It was backed up by a poll of our readers, with a whopping 85% convinced Evans had gone too far and did not deserve a second chance. Anything is possible, and of course, Evans might go on to redeem himself and return to our screens in the future, but there probably won't be too many brands lining up to write him a nice big check anytime soon. I could very easily disappear, you know? Some people would like me to disappear, no doubt, and uh, I'll just make this one statement. If I disappear or I have a frickin' weird accident, it wasn't an accident, okay? I am of what I believe complete sound mind and body and spirit.